So, tell us who you are and what you're going to show us today. My name is Shanet Mazzo. I'm French-American and I recently moved to New York City. I'm really happy to show you uh, how I made my lilies, which will consist of a lily pad and a lily flower. So to make the flower lilies, I used uh, light painting brushes and I used this big one. But you can also use the small white fiber. Um, I find that it's extra bright at the end, so I usually put a little black tape. And in this case, I put a little uh, black cardboard just to kind of dim where it's extra bright. So um, you can make smaller lilies with this one and bigger ones with this one. My flashlight for the SRT7 Night Core that I, and then I use uh, one of the universal adapters and I attach it quite simply here and you can see it is the whole Jason Page setup. For the lily flower part I use a black glove. It's a little tricky so you might take a few times before you get it. You start off by holding the whip vertically. And the most important part is, see how the ends touch the ground? And you want to kind of keep them that way with a, with a bit of pressure. So what I'm going to do with my black glove is I'm going to put my fingers through as if I were combing my hair. And then a f couple inches from the ground, I'll just hold it. And that allows me to press from the top and create the center part of the flower. I then turn it off and I turn it to the side and this will give me my petal. And I can continue doing petals on and off as I go around. And for the back petals, I like to do it a little bit higher up. the part I used to make the actual lily pads and it's totally recycled. Uh, I found this piece of filter in the street and I found this uh, groovy rainbow reflector in a tea box. And so what I did is I just taped it in here and then I simply rolled it up and then I finish off the end with a little bit of black gaffer tape to not have extra light coming out of the end of it. And then on the other end I can fit it into the universal adapter and add the lamp. Now you see that I have uh, taped it horizontally to a vertical tube which allows me to manipulate it easier and also turn it kind of like a compass. You may uh, find a different way to do the same thing and I would love to see any uh, ideas you might have of doing it better or differently. So where did you find the inspiration to do that? Well I started off uh, getting inspiration from the rooftop and having this effect of uh, something floating so I thought of water lilies that float and I got my inspiration from studying paintings from Monet from his famous uh, garden and I practiced on my notepad for the composition and then I uh, figured out how to make it with the light tools. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I look forward to seeing your lily flowers and lily pads. Please send me your examples at, uh, on Instagram at, at Manso or Light Painting New York. <laughs>